Alright, today we're going to do a review of the NZG Caterpillar 16G motor grader. Um, this model was produced by NZG several, a number of years ago. Um, the models, you can't really get them from a dealer anymore, but uh, you can still find them on places like eBay and uh, possibly Buffalo Road Imports might still have them. I haven't really looked recently. But the Caterpillar 16G was produced from 1975 to 1993, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. But the machine was equipped with a 16-foot mold board, which was replicated here. And at the time of this machine's production, it was Caterpillar's largest motor grader. So now let's look a little bit more at the model. We're going to go ahead and start at the rear here. And as you can see, um, the model comes with um, some very basic decaling. It does come with a decent radiator grill and the Caterpillar insignia. Um, and also the model comes with a very large seven tooth ripper. Um, the ripper has excellent functionality. It can come all the way up and it can also go deep into the soil. Um, the cylinder is fairly stiff, is stiff enough to hold it up in a nice high position to keep it off the ground. Moving along, uh, NZG decided to model this machine with a, an open engine compartment, which was fairly common on the 16G. Um, so very basic things are modeled, like the turbocharger, the air filter, and um, oil pump, and things like that. Um, moving along here to the cab, the cab has very uh, basic detailing. Um, there's just a steering wheel inside here, and a operator seat. There are no controls or anything like that. But it's a, this model was produced a number of years ago, and that was pretty common for models of that age. The blue tinted windows do detract a little bit, but not a whole lot. Now moving forward here, we have the main frame of the, of the motor grader here, and it says Caterpillar up here, just like the real machine. I'm coming along to the front, and um, we'll make a note about the tires. The tires on this model are the, the one true letdown about this model that I do not like. Um, they're very small and do not have a very realistic tread pattern, as you can see here. Um, usually, uh, 16Gs had larger wheels and tires. What some collectors do do is that they take a uh, Caterpillar 725 articulated dump truck, take the wheels and tires off of it, and then they put them on here, and I think it looks pretty good from what I've seen. Coming around to the front, we have a, a push block. Um, some very basic functions, the uh, tires steer back and forth to a realistic degree of movement, and then they can also oscillate, like so. Very, very good range of movement there. And there is no um, uh, wheel tilt model on this machine, but as I said before, it's a fairly basic machine. Coming around to the other side, we'll go over the mold board functions. The mold board has the ability to rotate 360 degrees. Um, it can slide back and forth. There is no cylinder to operate this function, but it just slides on a track, which works fine. Then we all, the whole mold board frame can also move back and forth. Like so. That's operated by a cylinder as well. Coming around to this side, um, the model itself is uh, uh, fairly heavy. It's a uh, pretty good model. Um, I'm very pleased with it. Its size looks a little small next to other 150th scale models like the 14M Motor Grader by Norscott. Go ahead and show you one. As you can see here, they look very similar in size. But I believe that some of this is due to the fact that the uh, wheels and tires on the 16G are a wee bit small. If they were larger, I think it would definitely give the model a better stance. Anyway, that's the model. Um, I'd highly recommend it to somebody who's interested in older Caterpillar models. Um, it isn't as well detailed as, let's say, even this 14M here. And it certainly costs more money for the 16G. But you can still buy one, and it's definitely a model that I like to have. And uh, go, don't forget to press that subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. 
and there will be more reviews and more updates to the diorama to come. Thanks.